activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. It's so hot. I wish we had a cool treat to cool down. <laughs> That's a great idea, Debo. We'll get popsicles to beat the heat. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh no! I wonder, what's wrong with the Blippi Mobile? It's hard to see what's wrong. We'll need to shrink down to get a better look. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is not ready for adventure, but we are! Wow, the inside of the Blippi Mobile looks so cool! But how will we ever figure out how to fix it? Do I hear someone in need of help fixing something? Hi, I'm Wonky the Rich, at your service for any and all repairs. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Mika and Debo. Wonky, will you help us figure out what's wrong with the Blippi Mobile? Hey, you bet! Here are some things we should check. First up, make sure the bolts are tight. There are a lot of bolts down here. I know just the wrench to tighten them. <laughs> Those are some sweet moves, Wonky. Ooh. I tell you what, I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Ten out of ten. That one's tightened. <laughs> hey, Debo, it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. Yeah. Next up. Let's make sure all the switches are on. This way. Oh no! Whoopsie! Ooh. Now let's check out the gears. Woohoo! Woo <laughs> hmm, I think the gears are supposed to move. Hey, there's a toy in the gear! Is that your toy, Debo? Don't worry, I'm on it! Dadgummit, it's not working! We can help! <laughs> it works! Yeah! Ho -ho, now this is the best part of fixing things! when it's all fixed. And I got the answer to my question. The Blippi Mobile wasn't working because there was a toy stuck in the gears. But now, the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Upload answer, Debo. I'm here anytime you need a helping wrench. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye bye Growing up. Now who's ready for a popsicle? Me! Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Fetch, Debo. <laughs> Whoa! I should have built a bigger moat. Huh? Sorry about your castle, Krabby. Oh, it's okay. There's plenty of sand to rebuild it. <laughs> Good question, Nebo. Hmm, I wonder, where does sand come from? To answer that, you'll have to go to the top of Mount Peaky. To the top of Mount Peaky we go. I'm gonna need wings and frog legs. Wing, frog leg, confirmed. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Whoa! <sighs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hey there, I'm Wayne the Boulder. 
I just woke up from the best dream. I was a grain of sand living atop a sand castle in a beach paradise. That's so cool. <laughs> and I want to make my dream a reality. <laughs> Erosion is a process that usually takes millions of years. But let me break it down for you. Cannonball! Whee! <laughs> Look, I'm already smaller. Erosion usually takes so long, but I'm feeling ambitious today. Yeah, let's go. Activate propeller. Propeller confirmed. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun, Blippi. Me too. Whirlpool! Whoa! Erosion makes me dizzy. Water slowly breaks down rocky surfaces, but this whirlpool is really speeding things up. Activate Turbo Booster. <laughs> Whoa! Look how small I am! Shrinking down! Wow, Wayne, you're so small we can barely keep up. Here's the secret to keeping up. You gotta... Whoa. 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 Catch that fish! Whoa, Wayne! You're tiny! Yup! <laughs> Even fish play a part in the process of erosion. Now let's go find my dream castle! Whoa! Oh boy! Here we go! Ah, there! My sand castle's complete! <laughs> I did it! My dream came true! Thanks for being a gem during my erosion! It was a blast! And I got the answer to my question. Where does sand come from? Sand comes from big boulders as they break into smaller pieces through a process called erosion, which usually takes millions of years. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Buh bye Goodbye! See you later! Activate Lippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders! Uh. Oof. Whoops! <laughs> Excuse me. That was a big burp, Flippy. Hmm, I wonder, why do people burp? Oh, I can tell you, but it's more fun to show you! Off to the nearest mouth! All right. I'm gonna need frog legs. Frog legs confirmed. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Open wide! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! Well, that was fun. Debo, you can open your eyes now. I think it's over. Here we go again! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! I'm gonna need monkey arms. Monkey arm confirmed. Whoa! 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 What's that? It's called the esophagus. We all have them. It's a long tube that connects the throat to the stomach. Woo! Esophagus. That's a fun word. E -soph -a -gus. <coughs> Whoa! He's coughing up a storm. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are ideal conditions for a big old... Burp. Away. Oh no! Hang on to your seats, everybody! Whoa! So cool! Careful! The bubble's delicate and can explode at any moment! <laughs> yes! Get it! Get it, Bob! Whee! <laughs> oh, 
yeah! The bubble is all the extra air that this guy swallowed! It's like a trampoline! Whoa! whoa, whoa. Bubble is rising up the esophagus and toward the mouth. <laughs> Whoa! Excuse me. Oh yeah! Experiment complete. <laughs> that was so fun, and I got the answer to my question. Why do people burp? People burp when they swallow too much air, and it builds up inside the esophagus. The body gets rid of the air by burping. <coughs> Upload answer, Debo. I think it's time to dance! Boom cha cha, boom cha cha, boom! Let's boom cha cha with boom! Boom cha cha, boom cha cha, boom! Activate Flippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders! Okay, Babble. I spy with my little eye something that starts with J. Plenty of sea creatures start with J. Jackfish, jelly nose fish, even jewelfish. Not now, Tabs. I'm looking for a jayfish. Oh, it's jellyfish. <laughs> okay, Tabs, your turn. I spy a dolphin. Listen, she's trying to communicate with us. Hmm, I wonder, how do dolphins communicate? Follow, pursue, chase. Here we come, little dolphin. It's so murky. It's murky and hard to see because of all the sand floating in the water. Whoa! Look out! Whoa! Uh-oh! <laughs> hey there, Blippi. Oh, hey, Larry. This is Babble and Tabs. Sorry we bonked into you. That's all right. It's all this sand floating around. Well, I'm off to get my teeth cleaned. <laughs> see you later. Bye-bye! How can the dolphins see in this murky water? Think, think, think. Oh, I know. The dolphin is using echolocation. Echo what? Echolocation. It's how some animals like dolphins and bats see objects by reflecting sound off them. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need echolocation. Echolocation confirmed. Try making clicks like the dolphin. Look! The sound waves from the clicks are bouncing off the objects and coming back to us with information about how far and how big the objects are. Hey! There's the dolphin! We found her! Wait! Come back! I didn't get to say hello! That's it! The dolphin is using a signature whistle to tell you her name. Try mimicking her signature whistle to call her back. All right. She understood me. Hey. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs and Babble. She wants to know your signature whistle so she can say your name in her language. Hmm, how about... Wow! What an amazing underwater adventure! And I got the answer to my question. How do dolphins communicate? Dolphins communicate with their signature whistles and chirps. And they can also use clicks to navigate and tell what's ahead. Upload answer tabs. Yes, precisely correct. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Activate Fluffy Station. 
It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders. Mwah. Nice catch, Debo. Do you hear that? That's one cool beat. I can't stop moving. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, why does music make us want to dance? Hi, Blippi. Hi, Mika. Hey, Benjamin. That was some pretty sweet beatboxing you were doing. Yeah, it made me want to dance. Hey, Benjamin, do you know why music makes us want to move our bodies and dance? I sure do. Just shrink down to my size and I'll show you. All right. Shrinking down. Awesome. Now we're ready to party. Yeah. Hit it, DJ D Bops. When we hear music, we enjoy the sound of it. This beat makes me want to move my feet. I love this song. And our bodies want to explain how the noise is being made. So we move in a way that matches the rhythm. On the beat. Woo, a classical song. Love your moves, Blippi. Check out yours, Mika. <laughs> now we've got the same moves. Together. Woohoo! Hey, DJ D Bops, pick up that tempo! Flippy, I challenge you to a dance off! It's on! Dance on! Go, Flippy! Go, Flippy! Break it down, Mika! a nice ring. It makes me wanna sing. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I almost forgot one more thing about dancing. What is it? That it's super fun. Oh yeah. It's a blast. <laughs> Thanks for answering my question, Benjamin. Music makes us want to dance because our bodies want to match the beat. It's a great way to connect with friends, and it's so much fun! Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Who's ready for a dance off? Round two. <laughs> it's on! Dance on! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> You look like a fireman! Now you look like a construction worker! <laughs> You're a natural cowboy, Debo! <laughs> hmm, I wonder, what is it like to be a cowboy? Let's find out! I'm gonna need a grabber arm! Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Uh, uh, hey, do you know any cowboys? Whoa, Whoa there. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Hampton the Horse. What brings you two down to these for? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn what it's like to be a cowboy. Well, you certainly rode into the right ranch. Giddy up. But first, we've got to get you looking the part. All right. I see you got your hat on, partner. Looking good. <laughs> Here, Blippi, grab yourself a hat and a bandana. See, cowboys wear these wide-brimmed hats to protect themselves from the sun and the rain. Ah, 
much better. Now you looking good. Yeah, cowboy. But they're also useful for gathering water when you need a drink. Cool. Ooh. Whoa. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. Cowboy hats are also good for moving a cow in the right direction. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> hey! No worries there, Blippi. Being a cowboy is so much more than just having the right clothes. Like what? Riding horses is a big part of the job. It's how cowboys got around before corn, and it allows us to herd cattle without scaring them. Hop on. Let's ride. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Maybe we should slow down. Oh, I think I'll stick to the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> That's actually perfect, since we have loose cattle to rank. We gotta spread out and move in the direction of the cows to go toward the pen. Yeah. Ah, this way. Let's get a wiggle on. That means let's go. Yippee! <laughs> well done, Blippi. You wrangled those cows like a real cowboy. Being a cowboy is hard work. Sure is. But it makes the day worthwhile. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for helping me find the answer to my question. <laughs> Cowboys wear big hats, ride horses, and wrangle cattle. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for making us feel at home on the range. Anytime, City Slicker. <laughs> Yeehaw! Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. That's right, Debo. The leaves have almost fallen off the trees. That means winter is coming. Whoa, that is a big bear. It looks like it's ready to hibernate. That's when bears slow down in the winter and rest. Kind of like a bunch of long naps. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, how do bears prepare for hibernation? I'm gonna need the excavator arm. Excavator arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Nice hula hoop moves you got there. I'm Bella the Bear. Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're wondering how bears prepare for hibernation. <gasps> is it that time already? It's almost winter. Oh, no! I've been having so much fun this summer, I totally forgot to prepare. I'm gonna have to move fast. Hey, could you help me? Of course. Thanks, Blippi. I've got quite the checklist. I'm gonna have to eat a lot of healthy food and fast <laughs> so I can bulk up my fat and fur to keep me warm. Fish is one of my favorite foods. Whoa! Voila! Oh, right. <laughs> Eating. Oh. Thanks, Blippi. I'll also need to load up on berries. Bella! Don't you need to eat the berries? Whoopsie do. Oh. Mm. Thanks, Debo. All right. We're making progress. But now for the tough part. We need to dig in the ground to find roots to eat. <laughs> I know just the thing to speed up the process. Work, Blippi. Oh, 
Well, excuse me. Mmm, mmm, delish. Oh, I just need one more thing to keep me warm. What is it? I need an extra layer to keep warm in my cave. Pine needles. The bare version of a big, comfy blanket. Oh, thanks. That looks extra cozy. <sighs> I'm all ready for hibernation. And I couldn't have done it all in one day without your help. I think we made it just in time. Thanks for answering my question, Bella. Bears prepare for hibernation by eating a lot of healthy food and warming their dens in order to stay comfy in the winter months. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> have a great sleep, Bella. Bye, Blippi. Oh, take care of my hula hoop till summer, Debo. All right, let's have a picnic. There are a bunch of ants, Tabs, and they're all walking together. Hmm, I wonder, why do ants walk in a line? Good idea, Tabs. We can shrink down to ant size and find out. I'm gonna need spider legs. Spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi, y'all. Welcome. I'm Anita, and this is my group of amazing ants. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Anita, we're here to find out why ants walk in a line. Well, jump on in our line and find out. We're going to get snacks for a big old potluck back home. Thanks, Anita. Sounds yummy. You betcha. Well, hi, Maribel. Oh, my, that snack you have looks delish. So, where'd you find the food? A heap of thanks for the info, Maribel. We ants exchange information through our antennas. Let's go, y'all. <gasps> Uh-oh. Nice birdie. <laughs> Whoa! Hello? Hello? Anita? Hello, we're here. Right back on the trail, sweet pea. There's a trail? I don't see it. You can't see it because it's a smell. When we walk, we drop a scent, and the ants behind us smell it using their antennas. So ants have antennas instead of noses? <gasps> Look, your antennas are twitching. That's right, my antennas are twitching because they sense something tasty in this direction. Careful, y'all, bumpy road ahead. <laughs> Anita led us right back to our picnic blanket. My word. Okay, ants, let's get some food. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Grapes are good, walnuts are yum, cheese and crackers, I'm tickled pink. I can't believe that ants can lift all that. Yes, sir. We ants can carry more than 10 times our own body weight. Okay, y'all, let's hop on that trail and follow the scent back home. Just like follow the leader. Now I have the answer to my question. Why do ants walk in a line? Ants walk in a line because the ant in front drops a trail of smells behind her and the other ants follow it. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Bye, Anita. Great to be in a line with y'all. <laughs> bye bye, Blippi. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Wow, I love our cool Blippi-mobile! You're right, Debo! 
Our car does have amazing things. Hmm, I wonder, what were the first cars like? Good idea! We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars. I'm gonna need helicopter blades. Helicopter blades confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going back in time! <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. We just traveled back over 100 years. I wonder whose house this is. It's mine. My name is Blippi. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am. Come here, future Blippi great grandson. <laughs> grandpa, we're here to find out what the first cars were like. Good timing! I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive! Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool! So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine! The engine started! Yeah! It looks like your car can only fit two people. And no seatbelts? Hmm. Seatbelts keep you safe. Hot dog. Seat belts? Okay, let's go to the top of that hill. <laughs> we made it! Knew we would! Now down! Does the car have any brakes? It sure does! <laughs> that was really cool! <laughs> Hot dog! And I have the answer to my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it, cars only had two seats, and you pulled a hand lever for the brakes. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, great grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving! Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Sorry, Tabs. I was just making a T-Rex shadow puppet with my hand. Aw, what a tiny dinosaur. Hmm, I wonder, what was the smallest dinosaur? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go back in time and find out. Going back in time! Whoa! We traveled 125 million years into the past, Tabs. Whoa! A dinosaur! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. You wouldn't happen to be the smallest dinosaur, would you? Oh, oh, phew. I thought you were a scary dinosaur. I'm Seamus. This is just my head. I'm stuck again. Never fear! Mina is here! Howdy! I'm Mina the Microraptor. Why do you say we try to dig my friend Seamus out? I might be only one foot tall, but I'm pretty strong. I've got an idea. Be back in a jiffy! Coconut shovels? What a great idea. Lucky for us, my four wings help me fly up there extra fast. Oh, no! My coconut shovel broke. Mine, too. Are you able to move, Seamus? <laughs> Well, you did your best, but I guess I live here now. Maybe if we had something slippery, we could pull you out. Hey, I know a cave filled with super slippery slime! This way! Whoa, this hole is super tiny. 
Are you sure you can fit? Never fear! Mina is here! Be right back! Uh-oh. Are you okay? I got the slime! Yeah! <laughs> oh! I can't believe it! I'm free! Hooray! We did it! Roar! <laughs> I might be the smallest dinosaur, but even I can do better than that! Wait! Microraptors are the smallest dinosaurs? We sure are! And we roar like this! Roar! Ah, scary dinosaurs! Run for your life! <laughs> Ferocious friends sure are fun. And I got the answer to my question. What was the smallest dinosaur? The smallest dinosaur was the Microraptor. Microraptors are only one foot tall, have four wings, and lived 125 million years ago. Upload answer tabs. See you later, Blippi! Bye bye, Mina!